In the crisp autumn of 1517, a seismic shift was about to reverberate through the heart of Europe. Martin Luther, an Augustinian monk and theologian, stood before the castle church in Wittenberg in Germany, armed with a document that would change the course of history. These were his 95 theses, a set of propositions critiquing the practices of the Catholic Church. This audacious act of posting them on the church door was an open invitation to theological debate. The 95 Theses were the culmination of Luther's growing discontent with certain practices of the Catholic Church, particularly the sale of indulgences. These documents, written in Latin, questioned the authority and efficacy of indulgences and called for a re-evaluation of the Church's teachings. Little did Luther know that this seemingly modest act would ignite a firestorm of intellectual and religious revolution. Thanks to the advent of the printing press, Luther's 95 Theses were swiftly disseminated across Europe. Translated into various languages, they became a lightning rod for discussion and dissent. Luther's critique resonated with a populace disillusioned by perceived corruption within the Church, giving rise to a groundswell of support for reform. At the heart of Luther's 95 Theses was a fundamental challenge to the authority of the Pope. By questioning the sale of indulgences and advocating for a return to Scripture, Luther struck at the core of papal power. This audacity would ultimately lead to a rupture in the ecclesiastical establishment. The posting of the 95 Theses set off an intellectual maelstrom. Scholars, theologians, and thinkers across Europe were drawn into the debate. Luther's ideas ignited a fervent exchange of pamphlets, treatises, and sermons, challenging the theological status quo. The Wittenberg reformer had unintentionally sparked a movement that would reshape the religious landscape of Europe. The influence of Luther's 95 Theses extended far beyond the confines of Wittenberg. As his ideas gained traction, they sparked a groundswell of reformist movements across Germany and beyond. Luther's challenge to the Catholic Church's authority was a catalyst for the emergence of various Protestant denominations, each with its unique theological stance. As Luther's ideas gained momentum, the Catholic Church was forced to respond. Pope Leo X issued a papal bull condemning Luther's teachings, demanding his recantation. The rift between Luther and the papacy grew, setting the stage for further confrontation and ultimately leading to Luther's excommunication. In 1521, Luther faced his most significant trial at the Diet of Worms, an assembly of the Holy Roman Empire. Here, Luther boldly defended his beliefs, refusing to recant unless convinced by scripture or sound reasoning. His steadfastness before the gathered assembly marked a watershed moment in the Protestant Reformation. Martin Luther's 95 Theses stand as a cornerstone of the Protestant Reformation. Their posting in Wittenberg was a catalyst for a movement that forever altered the religious and cultural landscape of Europe. Luther's emphasis on sola scriptura, scripture alone, and salvation by faith alone left an indelible mark on Protestant theology, shaping the beliefs of countless followers. Today, the posting of Martin Luther's 95 Theses is commemorated worldwide. It stands as a symbol of courageous dissent and intellectual rigor, reminding us of the power of ideas to transform societies. The event in Wittenberg continues to resonate through the annals of history, a testament to the enduring legacy of a solitary monk's act of protest. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of clash of ideologies, the Papal States vs. Revolutionary France. Thanks for watching.